This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! Alright, end of chapter 8, let's go. I think we might start with the festival right away? Well, I guess we'll see. And we'll also see if Keiichi's like, I'm doing this on my own, or if he's like, hey, we can make this, like, a, a group thing. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, Keiichi's we basically in a weird enough mental state now where he's like, wait, mur why didn't I consider murder? Like, I feel like he could easily be like, hey, guys, I came up with a genius idea. This is what we're going to do. Mion and the others, having set up, having to set up for the Watanagashi Festival or something, invited me alone, but I refused. Of course I did. How could they be taking it easy and setting up for a festival in this situation? Mion had a lot of nerve. Oh, yep, Keiichi, go crazy. <laughs> Find the, you found the Twitch stream, yes. You can watch on YouTube or on Twitch, but there's less stream delay if you watch on Twitch. But Twitch is a worse company than YouTube. But they're both bad companies, so I don't know, it's potato potato. <laughs> watch on the, the platform you wish. The first thing I did when I got back was take a one-hour shower. Not because I wanted to wash off sweat, it was because I wanted to be even calmer. I already understood this, but killing that man would be so very easy. I really think you're uh, uh, underestimating this. The really hard thing would be not getting arrested for it, so we could get our peaceful days back. <laughs> oh, hey, X dude, uh, you're just in time for Keiichi to start contemplating murder while taking a one hour shower. It's gonna be great. As I thought about it, I realized it wasn't easy. Japan's police force have the highest arrest rate in the world. Really? I would need to deceitfully pull off the perfect crime, and it wouldn't be a half hearted attempt. Still, it wasn't 100%. Even the best police force in the world couldn't have a 100% arrest rate. I've read a lot of articles on trials of people brought up on false charges. Oh, he's played Ace Attorney, too! <laughs> At court, they consider whether the charges are false or not, but figuring out the real criminal is entirely out of the scope. And that meant perfect crimes did exist. In fact, perfect crimes were sort of like works of art. They could even be respected and revered. You just had to look at the inundation of mystery novels everywhere throughout history. They dealt with all sorts of difficult-to-solve incidents, involving secret rooms and alibis and stuff, but they all wanted to show one thing. They wanted to show the beauty of a perfect crime. They also want to show, uh, and entertain their readers and make it so that unfold an interesting mystery. Because think about it, if the mystery novel ended with the perpetrator getting away and you never know who it is, that would be a really, really, really sucky mystery novel. <laughs> this is one of your favorite scenes in the game? Wonderful. Oh uh, man, there was something divine in the flawlessness of the word perfect. Yes. Perfect crimes were skills of the gods. He's sounding like Manfred von Karma right now. And in that sense, the serial freak deaths they were calling the curse of Oyashiro-sama. I understood. They must have been the works of gods. Everything must be perfect! Each one appeared to have been resolved, but they couldn't stop it from happening every year. Yeah, skills belonging only to gods. Those are perfect crimes. And I would be setting up my own crime before Oyoshiro Sama's series of perfect crimes four years in the running. If I were to put it boldly, I was challenging a god. Lower case G god is a lot easier to take on, though. Foolhardiness would be needed to make this decision, but I needed to be calm, cool, colder than ice to put that plan together. Kill him like a flame, but as systematic as ice. Starting now, I need to retain both of those ideas within me. You hate that every, everyone who likes streams at 1am? I mean, it's 8pm for me, but yeah, depending on where you're located. If, if you're in like the Europe area, yeah, I think most people stream really late for you, so it's unfortunate. Modeling my crime after a mystery novel wasn't actually a bad thing to focus on. Sometimes, kidnappings involving disturbing original methods that made it into the newspaper were used as a basis for novels after the person was arrested. Stuff like that that made it into the news. Day and night, for a very long time, mystery novel authors polished and refined their most fantastic artistic crimes. Imitating that could be a shortcut to planning the perfect crime in a short period of time. Of course, I haven't read enough mystery novels to act all high and mighty about them. The one who really liked mystery novels was my mom. She'd read every well-known mystery novel from overseas, from past and present. Every time she watched mystery shows, she would always criticize them as having cheap tricks or being poorly thought out. I wonder what the perfect crime would mean to her. 
Are you gonna be like, hey mom, if you were gonna commit murder, how would you do it? これまでの推理小説の中で、母さんが一番よくできたと思った。Okay, he's not quite that, but he is, he's literally going to mom be like, mom, I need some advice.、Uh, I'm writing a mystery novel, but I, I want it to be really good. Wow. <laughs> それを読むから楽しいのよ。はじめからトリックを教えちゃったら楽しみがなくなっちゃうわ。It wasn't like I was asking for my own amusement. She was deflecting the question, so I would somehow butter her up first and draw out an answer. そうね。よくできた推理小説。うん。結構どれもこれもいろんな魅力があってどれが面白かったとは言いにくいけど強いてあげれば母さんの好きな小説のタイトルが知りたいんじゃないよ<笑>母さんが一番下を巻いた完全トリックが知りたいんだよ<笑>本当に完全なトリックだったら名探偵に解く余地がないじゃない<笑> That's the point! Is there one where they didn't solve the case? <笑> That was true Then there'd be no point. 推理小説は解ける謎をいかに解くかの過程を楽しむものよ。Oh! <laughs> Thank you so much for the bits, Witch of Pandemonium. Yeah, <laughs> enjoy the, the R for laughing. I forgot I actually still had that <laughs> alert up. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. The R for alerts are some of my favorites. 解けない謎だったら、それは推理小説の題材になりえないわね。そっか、そりゃそうだよな。主人公に解けなかったらお話として成立しないもんな。True. Was I being too simplistic? Imagine that alert in a very stressful situation. It's like, Kate, she's being tortured to death. <laughs> That's true. May maybe it would be smarter to turn off Twitch alerts for more serious stuff. Nah, it it's, part of the it's part of the process of streaming it. A mystery novel was basically a game. How meta. They were written so you could get to the goal, so that you could solve them. But I couldn't use something so optimistic. It needed to be all, it needed the beat to be the be all end all of tricks so that we could, without a doubt, return to our old lives. ということは、ケイチ。真の完全犯罪は物語にすらならない。というのがわかるかしら Mom looked at me intellectually and grinned impishly. I'd never gotten to read it, but apparently one time a long time ago, Mom had written her own mystery novel and submitted it for some mystery novel award. Apparently, she was really into it. Monogatari ni naranai to do you in me? Keiichi, Monogatari no saite kose yoso wa? Well, you need to introduce the characters, you need to develop them, you need to have a rising conflict, you need to have a climax, and then a falling conflict, and then a conclusion. Kisho tenketsu. Okay, that's also more simple. Seikai. Tokuni kanjin na no wa atari mai da kedo, kin ni ataru bubun yo. The beginning of any piece of art is generally the most important because that's what's going to determine if people are going to stay or not. For example, at the beginning of a stream, I need to be extra entertaining to engage the viewers, otherwise, they're going to click off. Too bad that's never happened before. Is Keiichi, are you planning to like kill the guy in his house? Because if so, that's probably going to traumatize Satogo, even if she does hate the guy. Or is he just going to be like, oh, I'm, I'm going to lure him into the lake and drown him? If so, like, are you going to plan on the body never being found? Or are you going to plan on it being like, yeah, they'll find it, but they'll never find out who did it? <laughs> yeah. But without the evil laugh. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, a, that's fair. <laughs> Playing like Lethal Company, then suddenly. <laughs> My mom just told me something absurd. And she was saying it so smoothly, too, so I kind of turned her out, tuned her out, but she said something extremely important just now. <laughs> She's like, got it. Hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
斧で殺されましたちなみに犯人はうんじゃあおじいさんの息子ねおじいさんの家に来て一緒にお酒を飲んでいたんだけど<笑>ちょっと喧嘩になって。This was one of her failed drafts for the mystery novel. Or may maybe Keiji's mom is also planning to kill someone. Maybe she's the mastermind. No, she can't be the mastermind. She doesn't even have a sprite. What if the mastermind is a character who doesn't have a sprite? That would be kind of lame. <laughs> What an extremely cheap plot. It was an impulsive crime without a bit of planning. It was pretty far from a perfect crime. But Keiji, that's a very deep and deep in the forest. In the forest, it's aさて。殺した息子は町に帰ってきてこう言うのおじいさんは元気だったってそれのどこが完全犯罪なの Nobody's gonna go check. ケイチこの事件はねおじいさんが殺されているのが見つかって初めて木を迎えるのよ。Yeah, don't, don't spoil anything. That is a no no. <laughs> spoil equals ban. Then, then again, because I don't know the story, if somebody, unless somebody's like, hey, the spoiler, like, spoiler alert, this happens. Like, if you're just saying, like, hey, maybe it's this, even if that's actually what happens, I'm just gonna be like, well, you probably don't know the story, so, like, you're just guessing too. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should make some. <laughs> nah, never mind. I'm, I'm interrupting too much. If this time, The beginning would never occur. だからつまり物語は始まらない。事件が発覚しないから探偵も呼ばれない。True. そもそも誰も不審に思わないから謎も起こらない。おじいさんは今日も一人でのんびり森の奥で暮らしているんだろうね。Really、uncle, で、お空におじいさんの顔が浮かんで、自然こんな感じで。すごいじゃないかそれちゃんとしたトリックだよでも娯楽小説にはならないわね、True. 推理小説は所詮娯楽書完全犯罪の指南書にはなりえないんだから<笑> what, if, what if there's a mystery novel that was just a regular story where nothing happened and the, whole, the mystery behind the novel was trying to guess what the mystery was that is the kind of pretentious art piece that would end up winning the Pulitzer <笑> I was trying hard to cheer talk cheerfully to fool her, but inside I was excited. Special tools, strange geography, mysterious drugs, traps involving huge sums of cash, none of them were needed for perfect crimes. Well, we might need the mysterious drugs, but we can just find some random mushrooms. The important thing was that there wasn't a beginning. As long as the incident didn't come to light, it would be fine. Speaking broadly, if I could kill him without anyone finding out, and dispose of the corpse somewhere no one could find, it would basically already be a perfect crime. Of course, if someone up and vanished one day all of a sudden, people would get suspicious. But that didn't apply to this man. Last year, after their aunt died, he ran away from the village in fear of Oyashiro sama. When the night of Watanagashi came around again, everyone would have to think that he ran away in fear again. I mean, he had been living with a lover of his in town. No matter what it felt like when he vanished, no one would be suspicious. People hated him, after all. No one would care if he went, if he disappeared. When I thought about it like that, it got easier and easier to imagine killing him. There was no point in thinking inside my house anymore. <laughs> Way to say goodbye to your mom, man. I left getting my bike out of the garage. For now, it didn't matter where I was going. I just rode through the wind, trying to calm my excitement by feeling the cool air on my body. The fact that he's, like, excited to do this is, like, definitely setting up some red flags. Like, if it was, like, a man, I didn't want to do this, but this is, like, my last choice, and, like, Jeez, this is terrible, but like, I'm committing. No, he's like, oh, oh, I just can't wait to commit a murder. <laughs> Where I'd kill him, how I'd do it, what time, and how to dispose of the corpse. If I just had those four things, I could get a good plan going. I was so surprised at how little there was to decide that I shivered. I'd been completely prepared to build this humongous plan over a really long period of time, but if I could just get these little things in order, I could put it into motion. Today was Saturday. 
I would have to kill him on the night of Watanagashi. So as long as I was standing in for Oyashiro sama I only had 24 hours remaining. Satoko, just hang on for 24 more hours. I can't even imagine having to suffer through even more. But please, hold out for a little longer. I know you can't even last another second. I know that. But please, just hold it out. Your Nini will save you for sure. You're taking this a little bit too far, buddy. But, uh, you know, again, I, I'm not even going to stop him. We'll just see We'll see where this goes. Outside, it was still early enough for the cicadas to be crying. The early afternoon. Evening was still a long way off. I looked at the sky. At some point, it had gotten cloudy. Come to think of it, as I left the house, I heard on the TV that the weather forecast was calling for a chance of rain on Sunday. The, color, the sky was the color of lead. If I... What? The color of lead? That's like dark gray. Oh, that, that is definitely not dark gray in the sky right now. If I heard a little bit of thunder, I'd definitely have expected a sudden evening shower. My first destination was school. Whoa. Okay. Alright, I, I hear you. What audio are we still doing? We're doing the new manga gamer. Okay. Yeah, that's fine for now. Before explaining why I was going there, I needed to explain what method of for killing the man I had decided upon. I decided that the most suitable death, the one I needed to give him, was the same as last year's curse. The same as the punishment their aunt had received. Being beaten to death. Okay, that's pretty barbaric. Are you sure you can pull that off? You're a 15-year-old, maybe 16-year-old kid, and this guy's a fully grown adult. I don't know if he's shrimpy or not, but he definitely doesn't seem shrimpy, so we'll see. Wouldn't beating him to death be somewhat unreliable? Yeah, he could fight back. You may think that stabbing him with a blade would be more reliable. But this was something I had chosen after a lot of thought. You just needed to think realistically. The law. It prohibited carrying any blades longer than 10 centimeters, I think. So the blades available to me, even the longest ones, were still limited to things shorter than a ruler. You can probably understand how tricky it would be to, with such short reach to go up against an opponent that might fight back. In that case, a weapon with more reach, like a staff, would be far more advantageous. It might not be quite as inherently lethal, but since you could just keep hitting the guy until you killed him, the end result was the same. So what's a staff-like deadly weapon, terrifyingly powerful, and also eminently portable? By this point, you should immediately think of a metal baseball bat. I don't need to explain how terrifying a metal baseball bat can be as a weapon. And when I use baseball bats in backyard baseball, it's a lot more wholesome. But that aluminum power bat, man, imagine using that on somebody's skull. Go into orbit! A special note is the fact that you can carry one around in broad daylight and not be thought of as suspicious. Uh, if you're not on a baseball team, it might be a little bit. Especially if you don't have a ball with you, you're just like, <laughs> here we go. Just those two points would have been enough to choose a metal bat for my weapon. But there was one more reason for choosing a metal bat in particular. I will speak about it later. Oh, he's going to be all poetic. Be like, I'm going to kill Satoshi's uncle with Satoshi's bat. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing these dopey laughs, but it's funny. To me. It's probably not funny to anybody else. After school this Saturday, my classmates were still having fun playing in the schoolyard. I could show up there and it would be the same as always, so nobody will think I'm suspicious. Getting my hands on the weapon without looking suspicious was actually a factor I couldn't ignore. I didn't normally play baseball, so if I went to a sports store looking for a metal bat, it would definitely be suspicious. Could I, could I see where you keep your blunt objects? I can't let there be a beginning to the story, so I needed to be really careful even about that. That left school. At a location at which my appearance wouldn't be suspicious, I would acquire the weapon. It's a good thing my sister's not here because she would criticize him for going for blunt force trauma to the head as the murder method. <laughs> she thinks it happens too much. I checked inside the classroom through the window, but of course there was nobody there. The only students who would stay in there were me and the others when doing the club activities. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't patronize me. Without us, the classroom after school was just an empty, unused room. Without glancing around nervously, as if I'd just gone to get something I'd forgotten, I casually went into the entrance. Let's go. It looked like the teacher was busy with paperwork in the teacher's lounge. I didn't see her in the hallway. Naturally, yet quickly as a shadow, I entered the classroom. The empty room was full of a strange, stagnant air that you couldn't feel normally. I can't tell if this guy's gonna be, like, super confident, and so nobody's really gonna think he's acting weird, because he's just like, oh yeah, like, that's fine, because he considers this to be a very normal thing to do. Or if it's gonna be like, oh, somebody talks to him while he's the baseball bat, and he's gonna, like, freak out and 
they're gonna be like, Hey, I remember when you were acting weird with the baseball bat. Were you the guy who killed the guy with the baseball bat? <laughs> An empty classroom, with nobody here. Maybe while no one was around, the desks creep about of their own accord, licking the layer floors clean of dirt. If I suddenly stepped into a place like that, would the desks, in their supplies, surprise, fly at me, crush my bones, and eat me alive? Okay, this guy is completely going to the loony bin. Baka baka si. I felt regret at wasting valuable time thinking on stupid delusions. The students' lockers were lined up in the back of the classroom. The one I was looking for wasn't my own. It was a forbidden locker. One I had accidentally discovered one day. Atta. Yep, Hojo. he's taking his bath! If one person has one locker, then why would Satoko have two? I'd made a fuss about it once. After that, I learned it was Satoshi's locker, and he had the same last name as her. But of course, even though it was a locker for a student no longer here, looking inside it was still a shameless act. But one time, I let my curiosity get the better of me and took a peek inside. Inside was an average, it was average and worthless. At the time, I hadn't been interested, so until now I'd forgotten what had been in it. But now that I had, dare I say it, awakened, I remembered the thing that had been there. I opened the locker, and a stench of mold and sweat wafted out like a gym storehouse that hadn't been cleaned in weeks. They're not even, like, removing the stuff from his locker? Are they like, well, he's gonna come back one day? Or are they just like, nah, I, I don't get paid enough for that. My face puckered up at the stench, but I looked for it. Yes. Satoshi was on Coach's baseball team. Inside the locker was a Hinamizawa fighter's uniform. And it. The one Satoshi used. The metal bat. Yes. This was the reason I wanted to choose this bat. This murder would be carried out by me, but this wasn't originally my role. It was Satoshi's. But I would stand in for him and call myself Satoko's Nini. It was one of the rules for standing in for him. Okay, weirdo. I reached for the metal bat and grasped it firmly. It has your fingerprints on it now, buddy. That's not good. It was light. And yet, its tip had enough heft in it. Enough to easily imagine the horror if I brought it down with all my might. Satoshi. I'll give you one last chance to save your sister. Lend me your strength. You're a coward, but I will stand in for you. So if you even care a little bit about her, you will lend me your strength. Okay, um, you're ever talking to a dead person who can't hear you, or you're talking to a living person who's not here who also can't hear you. Either way, you're, you're stupid. There is no more suitable weapon in the world for putting that man to death than your bat. Now, I just needed to figure out where to hide it. Tomorrow, before the act, I would just stop by the school and grab it. Because I couldn't ignore the possibility somebody would see me bringing it home and think it was strange. Why did you come here then, today? Like, couldn't you just be like, oh, it's Sunday. Going to Oh, maybe school's locked on Sunday. But if I left it here, there wouldn't be a problem. Plus, tomorrow was Sunday. Not only that, it was the day of the biggest festival in the whole village. Nobody would be coming to school. I left out the entrance and went over to a construction vehicle parked nearby. Of course, I can run over the uncle with this! <laughs> I'd been warned by our teacher to not touch it just for laughs, so none of the kids would come near the vehicle either. They wouldn't, because if she found out they touched it, they'd be in huge trouble. I quietly hid it in the shadow of the vehicle. The chances of someone operating the vehicle tomorrow were slim to none, because tomorrow was Sunday. Government workers had the day off. And, from what my classmates had said, that thing had been left here for years now. Machines that haven't been moved in years. You can't just suddenly, suddenly start them up again. <laughs> alright, alright, hey, hey. So I was almost definitively fine in this case. Keiichi, why are you putting the baseball bat under that old construction vehicle? Darn it, Rena! <laughs> the sunlight was piercingly hot. My head grew faint for a moment. Had the heat been this harsh for the entire day? A moment of dulled thoughts like this was a moment of carelessness. I gave myself a couple hits in the head, and then looked around warily. Okay. Next, how to dispose of the corpse. Oh, that's easy. You get a trash bag, you stuff the corpse in, you load the bag with, like, heavy rocks, and then dump it in, like, the ocean. Or, like, a deep lake. Boom. Problem solved. I mean, I don't know that. I have not thought about this. Really? We need it to be continued for that? Disposing of a corpse is not that difficult. Unless you uh, kill the person in an inopportune location. 